It's Memorial Day weekend, so happy Memorial Day weekend. I'm not going to do any more readings this weekend because I figure we're all going to be busy for the weekend. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different in that we're going to borrow a reading from something off the internet. You'll get to hear somebody else's voice and see some other pictures. It's more of a lesson than it is a story. I hope you enjoy it. The American Flag A national symbol Every country in the world has its own flag. A flag is an important symbol of a nation. A flag stands for a country's land and people. The American flag is red, white, and blue. It has seven red stripes and six white stripes. It also has 50 white stars on a blue rectangle. The first flags. At first, the United States was a group of 13 British colonies. The colonies had their own flags. That changed when the colonies joined to fight the Revolutionary War. An early flag carried by American soldiers during the Revolutionary War was red with a pine tree in the corner. The Grand Union flag was the earliest flag flown by the 13 colonies. The flag had a small British flag in the corner and 13 red and white stripes. In 1777, the Continental Congress passed the first Flag Act. The law created a new flag with 13 stars and 13 stripes. The United States had grown to 15 states by 1792. The second Flag Act passed in 1794. It said the flag should have 15 stripes and 15 stars. In 1818, Congress passed the third Flag Act. It said the flag should have 13 stripes. Congress could also add stars as new states joined the United States. The symbol today. People fly the American flag in many places. The flag flies outside post offices, government buildings, and schools. There is even a flag on the moon. American flags are most often seen on national holidays such as the 4th of July and Memorial Day. The flag reminds people to be proud of their country. I hope you enjoyed that little history lesson and I hope you have an even better Memorial Day weekend.